Only Mustang makes it happen. These aren't just words, it's a fact. A lot of people don't really know that Carol's entry into Ford Motor Company came through Ford Racing. Lee Iacocca called me in uh, 1964, right after the Mustang came out, and says, we want to make a race car out of this. And I says, the thing is a secretary's car. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it can be done. Carol was legendary in saying, hey, you can't make a race horse out of a mule. I mean, let's face it, Lee Iacocca wanted to have a performance uh, uh, reputation for Ford. Says, let's uh, take the V8 and hop it up to 300, 315, 20 horsepower. Let's uh, change the brakes. Let's change the suspension. Let's take the rear seats out. And uh, let's turn it into a sport car. A car makes a name. A name doesn't make a car. They were arguing over what to call the car. And so he calls the shop foreman out, and this is in Van Nuys, right out along the airport property. And he calls the shop foreman out, and he goes, count out the steps from here, from the corner of the building to the airport. So the guy walks out and counts 347 steps. He goes, we're gonna call this the GT350. That's how the name of the car came up. He's like, a car is gonna make the name. A name doesn't make the car. I was proud of the hot rodders. That, uh, that put it together because we did take something that was a secretary's car and, uh, and turn it into something that's remembered 45 years later as a, as a, as a performance car rather than a, than a secretary's car. You know, and literally hanging parts in there, climbing into the, under the bay of the hood of the car and bolting the parts on, the suspension, the A-frame pieces. You know, hey, if you're gonna make a car go 160 miles an hour, you damn well better make it be able to stop. Carol was a stickler for uh, what his name, but what the name Shelby meant. So he didn't want the bean counters coming in and telling him, well, those brakes are expensive. We can use these cheaper brakes. Or well, those tires are expensive. Or that engine is expensive. And we, you know, Ford knew it was expensive. So he was a stickler. It's not just a license agreement, like, you know, put your badge on there. I mean, literally, the time he spent in those cars is important for every engineer for the products from now going into the future because they know what he wanted. Fans expect certain things with certain names like Cobra, like Shelby, Mach 1. Things have to deliver so Ford's now in the, in the business of delivering those promises and living up to the, those legacies of names like Carroll Shelby.